Hey there, fellow gamers. Today I've got some exciting news for all you 3DS enthusiasts out there. The Lime 3DS emulator just dropped its latest update, and let me tell you, it's got some pretty sweet improvements. First things first, if you're not familiar with it, an emulator is basically a piece of software that allows you to play games from one platform on another. So in this case, Lime 3DS lets you play Nintendo 3DS games on your computer. Pretty neat, right? The latest update for the Lime 3DS emulator has just dropped, and it's packed with some pretty cool improvements and fixes. Let's dive into the change logs. First up, they fixed a crash that was happening when you tried to go full screen while playing Super Smash Bros. 3DS on Vulcan. No more getting kicked out of the game just when things are getting intense. They've also made some minor performance improvements across the board, especially for those of you rocking Mali GPUs. If you're playing on Android and using on-screen overlay joysticks, you'll be glad to know that they've fixed an issue with the draw order, so everything should look a lot smoother now. Now onto the technical stuff. They've updated the build environments, which means they've switched things up to make sure everything runs even better. They've upgraded Clang from version 15 to 18 for formatting, both for Linux and Android builds. And for Android, they've also bumped up the Android Gradle plugin from version 8.2.1 to 8.2, which includes an upgrade from Gradle 8.2 to 8.4. And here's something interesting. While fixing the Super Smash Bros. issue, they ended up restructuring a big part of the Vulkan renderer. And get this, it might actually improve compatibility for other games too. So, if you notice any improvements while playing your favorite games, be sure to let them know. Let's dive into gameplay and see the performance.
That's it for now, folks. Keep on gaming, and don't forget to update your Lime 3DS emulator for the best experience possible. Happy gaming. <laughs>